Good evening, I'm Jim Benham, and you're watching CBS 4 News at 10. We're also streaming at CBSN Denver. State leaders say there's an end in sight to the coronavirus crisis in Colorado. But how soon that day comes depends on people respecting the stay home order and that all important social distancing. Today, Governor Polis laid out what the next few weeks might look like. Kelly Worthman brings us the latest headlines every night from the CBSN Denver studio. Kelly? Well, Jim, the governor believes social distancing has already reduced the spread of the virus, but we do have a long way to go. If the plan works, deaths will be in the hundreds instead of thousands or tens of thousands. And hospitals will be able to manage the flow of patients, meaning everyone who gets sick will get the treatment they need. This pandemic is not a vacation. It's not the time to drive two or three hours from Denver to mountain communities. Governor Polis stressed the need to continue social distancing as the state gets a better idea of how things are working. The governor says by this weekend, we'll understand the impact of closing bars and restaurants. That decision alone could have saved thousands of lives, including younger people. People in their 30s, people in their 40s that are hospitalized uh, for this virus. Under the best case scenario, the number of deaths could be as low as 400. We could also avoid overwhelming the hospital system. The number of people in the ICU wouldn't peak until December, and only 900 beds would be used at once. But the state is working to get more equipment to prepare for the worst. We have about 900 ventilators in the state of Colorado. Uh, we need about 7,000. We have about 1,800 hospital beds. We need about 5,000 ICU beds. The governor is hopeful the efforts happening now will speed up the return to normalcy. I want people to also to keep that optimistic spirit. Uh, many people uh, will be able to return to work in a matter of weeks and months as these additional safety protocols are put into place. We're going to get through this. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Again, this is the best case scenario, and it will only happen if this extreme social distancing continues. According to the state health department, that we are now at more than 1,700 confirmed cases of coronavirus here in the state. 239 have required hospitalizations, and the state has reported 31 deaths, Jim. Thank you.